inside the cockpit of the actual 2020 C8 Corvette, guys. You check out the engine back there. Horsepower Hobby. Welcome back to Horsepower Hobby. I am Torque, and in today's video, we may be bringing a new build to the channel. Maybe a convertible car? Just come along with me and check it out, guys. So I was on the internet earlier and just kind of browsing around and come across what I thought was a super, super deal. I mean, too good to pass up. And I'm hoping that it pans out to be as good of a deal as it looks online. We'll find out pretty soon. So we're turning on the street now where the car is located. Let's check it out. So walking back to check out the car. Let's have a look at it guys. Looks like it's missing a few little trim pieces and stuff, but let's see if it starts and runs. A little hole in the seat there. and 760 miles on it. Looks like may have some cuts in the top. give this thing a test around the block it does have a few little issues but I mean we just have to weigh it out and see if it's worth it maybe hearing some engine noises not 100% sure it's Just took it down the street for a little test drive and 
and it's making some noise and stuff. I believe maybe suspension stuff. Um, need to check into it and see if it's, you know, if it'll be something worth it. You know, to see if we're getting in way over our heads with, you know, trying to tackle this one. Um, I was wanting to possibly, <laughs> I was wanting to possibly get it in, do a super swap, like a, I guess a 2JZ swap. Uh, I think I may have found a donor car that possibly has a 2JZ in it, but like I said, not sure. So, as for right now, we just go home and do some research and see if this build right here be worth purchasing so that mr2 it's pretty decent condition it does have a couple of rips in the top they've glued it so far uh, so that it doesn't leak but i'm wanting a top that i can actually fold back and have the function with that one he said probably wouldn't want to let it down until you replace it or more likely replace that top because it'll pull the glue apart and then it'll start to leak so don't know, man. I'm going to go back home, run some numbers on what it would take to replace that top. And also, had a few other little issues, like a, kind of a, a spot on the bumper where it's been notched out on the front bumper. And the seats, the seats would need to be replaced or reupholstered. So I don't, I don't know. Like I said, I run the numbers on it and see if it's a good buy. I mean, it seemed like a really, really sweet deal. But then when I got there and seen some of the little issues, just need to run it and see if it's still worth it. Um, of course, the deal is not as sweet with the issues that I see, but it still may be worth it. I just run those numbers and see. But I was thinking if I did get it, maybe, you know, to do a 2JZ swap on it or something like that. I may have another option to take a look at. I'm waiting on this seller to call me back. Um, just kind of looking for some toys to bring to the channel to create new content and have fun doing it. So I won't say what that other one is just yet. Hopefully that guy calls me back and I can go and show you guys what I'm talking about. So I'm still waiting on the guy to call back about the other car that I'm supposed to go take a look at haven't heard back from him yet but while I'm waiting just gonna stop in and go ahead and get the tires put on the truck I don't know if you've seen the last video where we kind of created a little mayhem but uh, it was fun filming it let's check on these tires and see how low they got since I changed them as you can see this tire is still sticky this is actually the one that I had put on the other day that still had life left in it and yeah about that these things don't last long when you have fun it don't last long at all. Let's go look at the other one here. Yeah, it's time for that one as well. So we did that big fat burnout in the last video. You guys should go check it out if you haven't already. I put a link in the description down below. But let's go inside and get some tires and hopefully this guy call us back and we'll be able to check this car out. So they just finished up with the tires and let's check them out. There they are. Brand new rubber. Really need to get that center cap replaced. The other side. Looking good. So, might have to hold off on the burning outs and stuff like that for a little while. I'm planning on getting that extra set of rims that way I can just put tires on it just for burning out. So, the guy still hasn't called back regarding the car that we were supposed to go check out but just got word that something else has just happened it's kind of a surprise just come on and I'll show you guys here at the Kevin Whitaker Chevrolet dealership here in upstate and they have something Let's just come on in and check it out they got some nice cars here now though these are nice this is still not what we came here for. And I like this orange. But once again, still not what we came here for. Let's go look around and see if we can find what we came here for. There it is, guys. A lot of people here. There's the 2020 
C8 Corvette. Messing around with the trunk on it. Yeah, I like that orange. Kind of looks like it has a little reddish hue to it. It's orange. Beautiful spec. Nice interior. Girthy back in. That made it interesting. There's the 2020 Corvette seating options, guys. It's a GT1. It's a GT2. This is the competition sport. Don't know, I'm kind of on the fence. I think I like this one better than I do like that one. But, I mean, this one just looks to be a little more, I don't know, a little more comfortable. Looks like it'll be easier to clean as well. All the different rim options. This rim option better here. You know, on the fence between that one and this one. These are all the different colors that you can get them in. A lot of colors there. These are the colors of the brake calipers here. Pretty sweet. These are your different steering wheels. You got your leather wrap. And you have your suede microfiber wrap. Both look pretty cool. Got the paddle shifters on them. Pretty neat. And look at all these seat belt colors. Pretty neat here. A lot of different options in your seat belts. And you have all your, I guess your fabrics and colors. For your NT motion. I mean, you can really spec this thing out. I mean, just get it perfectly the way you want it. I mean, they got so many different options. Just the sky's the limit on this one. What's that? Working with The width? Yeah, I got just with You can. Inside the cockpit of the actual 2020 C8 Corvette, guys. Yeah, this thing's pretty sweet. You got the engine back there. <laughs> pretty nice little setup here. Very, very nice. I just like the way all the stuff is just kind of crafted and geared towards the driver here. Very, very nice. Very nice setup. So here is the C7. I'm just showing you a comparison to the C8, the interior. See, the cockpit in the C8 is more kind of configured towards the driver versus the C7. I mean, C7 is slightly, but I don't know. I mean, these C7s are nice as well. No mid-engine there. 1955 C1 Corvette. Looks to be in mint condition. Pretty sharp car there. Pretty sure that's a very, very expensive car there. So they just took delivery of this 2020 Corvette here at this location. I was actually a little late for the actual delivery and it coming off the trailer. Um, I didn't hear about it until later. But here's the trailer that it came off of.
got some pretty sweet spec in there the way they got it with the orange and the light colored interior really nice those 2020 vets are really really nice I was trying to negotiate just to see around what ballpark figure would be at it seems like you know with all the trim level stuff you're looking at a little over a hundred um, would love to have one don't know if I'm quite ready to spend hundred grand on a on a vet just yet so don't know maybe on the market for a used one don't know but I really like to have the new one <laughs> we just had to see how it all goes but I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, I guess first look for me in person at one of the vets so I hope you, you guys enjoyed that but if you haven't subscribed already hit that subscribe button also like this video and hit the push notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of the awesome content that I come out with in the future and until next time